We tried for two days to tag and find whale sharks. We looked on the surface, we went snorkeling, no luck. And one day, on our second day here actually, around midday, uh, off the back of the boat, there's a whale shark just circling back there. So we have the whole team running around the boat looking for masts, looking for tags, looking for fins. We had two people following the whale shark because he was cruising away from our boat. I scrambled some uh, piece of diving equipment, it wasn't even mine, fins weren't even mine. But luckily we had the satellite tag and the pole ready. So we jumped and I'm sinking in the middle of like a, a school of barracudas. And all of a sudden there's this whale shark kind of trailing the barracudas. It was just phenomenal. I think it's a, it's a, it's a memory I'll never forget. So the Philippines is particularly interesting in terms of whale sharks because uh, the sharks have been protected here since 1998, uh, whereas some of the surrounding countries, and particularly China, uh, still have quite large fisheries for, for whale sharks. So one of the things we're most interested in seeing here is whether uh, whale sharks are moving out of these protected waters and into Chinese waters where they're potentially a threat. The research technique that we employed here in Tubataha included um, acoustic recordings to quantify noise pollution in the ocean, but also to try to identify and quantify the presence of uh, marine mammals. And uh, for whale shark and uh, for tiger sharks, we are doing um, satellite taggings and we have been doing underwater vis visual survey. And one of our researchers, Ryan, has also been collecting graph footage that is a baited remote underwater um, video system. Basically a camera that is deployed uh, deep, between uh, 20 and 60 meters deep, that collect footage of shark passing by. Uh, we've been able to tag six different whale sharks during this expedition, uh, five of them with tethered spot tags and one of them with a pop-up archival tag that gives us really good depth information. So a pop-up archival tag, a pat tag, uh, follows the animal along. So you put it on the animal and it takes a location based on light, so sunrise and sunset, and it knows where it is in the world. And uh, for 150 days it's going to take a location a day and record depth every 10 seconds. What that's going to do is in 150 days it'll pop off and start broadcasting reams of data back to us until its battery dies. It'll tell us its movements of where it went, and we'll also get depth profiles, and we'll see, you know, where did they spend most of their time? Is it deeper water? Is it towards the surface? All that information is important for conserving uh, whale sharks. So the five tags I brought along were what's called spot tags, and they are designed to transmit when they go above the water's surface. So to get them above the water, uh, we put them on a short tether of the whale shark, so when it swims up near the surface, whether it's feeding or basking or whatever's going on, uh, we should be able to pick up its position in satellite. And what that gives us is really high resolution movement information, so we know exactly where they're going in almost real time. And the reason why I've chosen those for the Philippines is because I am interested to see if they are moving into those unprotected waters through China where they're potentially at risk of fisheries. Expedition Shark in Tubata is trying to assess what can be done and quantify the results of this protection and use Tubata as an example for other places. Quantifying uh, how much the shark are back and how many sharks are present here in Tubata will uh, work as an example to create more marine protected area.